Good afternoon, Robert Scribbler with the OBX Wave Report for this Sunday, January the 21st, and a very cold Sunday it is. Um, temperatures last night got down into the 20s, wind chill into the teens, and uh, driving across the causeway, there was ice on the marshes surrounding the sound and on the shores surrounding the sound as the choppy waves got blown across the sound and the spray hit the sand and the marshes and froze uh, no ice on the sound itself but definitely on the shore of the sound is very uh, very cold as you can see here in the ocean um just your regular cold winter picture uh, right now temperatures in the middle 30s with northwesterly winds making it feel a lot colder waves in the range of two to five foot depending on your location and um fair i would say mostly fair up and down the outer banks uh with a little bit of chop because of those northwesterly winds uh, one other feature to point out are these clouds over the ocean and this can tend to happen when the air over the ocean is very cold because uh, the ocean water is much warmer right now. Ocean water temperatures up here in Nags Head in the range of the upper 40s to around 50. And then further to the south, ocean water temperatures in the mid to even upper 50s. So big difference between the ocean water temperature and the air temperature. And when you get that cold air blowing across the warmer water, you can have those low clouds forming over the ocean as we see. I'm not going to go into a detailed report up and down the Outer Banks, but um, generally speaking, we've got two to five foot conditions, um, mostly fair, uh, choppier to the north, fairer to cleaner to the south, larger to the north, uh, smaller to the south. And as we get into the day tomorrow, those cold winds from the northwest are going to die down, thankfully, and things are going to start to warm up a little bit it's going to get into the 40s for highs tomorrow so not quite as bone freezing cold tomorrow waves in the range of two to four foot and clean depending on your location and then on tuesday and wednesday we get a shift in the winds to the south pushing up warmer temperatures on tuesday and wednesday and then into thursday by midweek we might get temperatures up into the mid to high 50s to even lower 60s um, with the winds shifting to the south the angle of the swell is going to change and wave heights likely to range from one to four foot depending on location with those southerly winds so that's a brief wrap up for wave conditions today here in the other banks and then the outlook we're going to get a more detailed forecast for you guys tomorrow on monday and also we are going to get in the water <laughs> and surf in the cold conditions i've had uh, people saying oh well there's no one out there and um you know what uh, one of the best times to surf is in the winter time because you get to avoid the crowds and boy are the waves really darn good here in the winter time all right so thank you for joining me for this session of the obx wave report and in conclusion, I'd like to ask you guys to please do everything you can to help protect our coastlines from the impacts of climate change driven by fossil fuel burning. Those impacts being rising sea levels, more intense storms, ocean heat waves, and ocean acidification. The primary solution to the climate crisis right now being the mass deployment of clean energy and the mass deployable forms of clean energy that we do have at present are wind water solar electric vehicles and the battery storage systems that are provided by the electric vehicles the global system is gearing up for a major clean energy deployment which is presently underway over the past year over 200 gigawatts of wind water and solar as well as geothermal and other clean energy capacity was deployed and in addition to that over 13.3 million 
electric vehicles were deployed last year as well. These are good numbers, guys, but we got to continue to increase them and replace the harmful fossil fuels that have injected so much chaos and trouble into the climate system and put all of us who live on the coastlines under threat as well as all of the beautiful sandbars and coral reefs around the world that provide these beautiful waves that we all enjoy so much and this beautiful clean ocean environment that is such a benefit to everyone around the world. All right, so thank you guys once again. Hope you guys managed to get out in the water. If you do, uh, please pay mind to your cool weather protection. You're gonna need it because it is super cold today and it's gonna be cold tomorrow morning. Thanks for joining me once again.